And I also need to declutter my closet. But before we get there, I'm gonna make myself a beverage because this time might take a moment. Hey there, good people, welcome back. So I recently created a capsule wardrobe that I shared on Instagram and taking the principles that I learned from my Novi, I was like, let me look at my clothes first before I do anything else. And I was like, I don't wanna wear these clothes. <laughs> what is going on? Or I can't wear these clothes, which I'll show you in a moment. And I realized that more than anything, my body has changed and that is the root of the issue. Look, my Tarani peach is all the way down there. This is what I use this for. Um, I think I should get another flavor next. Wait, what would y'all get? I've seen raspberry and other flavors. I'm gonna do two bumps. All right, this closet of mine is truly, sincerely wonderful, but am I using it well? <laughs> I mean, I guess my clothes are in here. I've never organized it since I moved in, so I should do that for one. But two, I'm hanging on to this body that I used to have mentally, um, and it's not like a, it's not like I've gained a lot of weight. It's a weight distribution because I'm getting older. It's, it's redistributed in places, and I really need to emotionally and mentally accept that. And I'm, I'm like definitely on the path, like even recognizing that fact, like in my mind is great. Now two, I am getting back into my fitness game hard, right? I haven't been in it hard since 2020, more on that in a later video. Don't wanna go into too many tangents here, but that is also a factor. But I don't, but it, it doesn't do me any good to have a lot of the clothes in this closet that don't fit anymore or just more and let me show I've been hanging on to this one pair of skinny jeans. I don't know why, I just have. Um, because we like, I feel like we always need like one pair for boot season, but these are very worn. These are faded. <laughs> the, you know how when you have thighs, like this area, it's on a like last leg. It is done. Um, and skinny jeans, like I really am not into them right now, but if I was, I wouldn't wear these pair. They've never fit great. Um, they are not the right rise for my body type and so I just need to get rid of these mm, I'm not a fan of like good willing something that's about to fall apart like I can really see the thread here let me show you you see that like that is literally threadbare that is going to fall apart I'm not going to send that to goodwill I'll just get rid of that like I can't even like even cutting that up to be short it, it's gonna fall apart so that needs to go but then there are things that just don't fit and I'm hanging on to. Like I have a pair of shorts, I know. There is Zara pair of shorts somewhere in here. Um, and these don't fit. These barely fit when I bought them, okay? Cause Zara sizes are wild. Um, this was a medium. I should have a large in this, like for real. This barely fits me. I love the buttons and I love the cut of this. <laughs> and I just suck it in hard. Uh, but I need to, I should get rid of this. I can Goodwill this. Someone can get really good use out of these. I've barely worn them. I could send these to Goodwill or thread up, one or the other, right? And so that's just where my closet is. And then third, there's, there's just things that aren't my style anymore. Not even a little <laughs> my style. For example, this belt is no longer my style. Um, this Gucci belt, I mean, it was it ever really my style. I've worn this belt like twice. I need to just go ahead and sell it. It needs to go. And so I did a sale earlier this year on the real wheel. And for some reason I didn't send this belt that I never ever wear, like never wear. Um, I'd rather get a belt that I will wear or just use one of the various belts that I have and actually wear them. I rarely wear a belt, <laughs> even though I own some. That's probably like the basics of my wardrobe. So like, that's what I need to do because I have clothes coming, okay? I do, I have clothes coming. Like there are a couple of things that I knew I needed. So I have clothes coming and it just kind of made me face myself. I mean, this sweater I keep wearing and it doesn't fit. I shrunk it accidentally. That's another thing. Caring for your clothes. We'll talk about that. But anyways, I want to get started. I'm going to make myself, um, let's say three piles. Donate, trash, and sell. Those are my three piles. Just going to, I'm going to start here. This definitely donate. Oh, I love this. This actually fits well. I wore it the other week. This donate 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 I'll donate this someone could use a, a, a wool sweater this winter and 
it will fit them. I've decluttered this whole closet, but there's something about this to where I don't want to let it go. I love the color. It's never fit well. It probably never will because the way my butt is set up, it probably never will. And then I don't want to get rid of it. It's, it's a change thing. I realize this year that in very subtle ways, I've been resisting the natural change of my life. Now, part of that is you know, the changing shape of my body because I'm aging and not accepting that. And a lot of the reason I've hung on to some of these clothes, right? Um, not the ones that are worn, right? That's actually three things right now. Three things. I'm going to go through my chest of drawers and that'll be more. But that's just three things, right? Things that don't fit or things that I never really loved in the first place or don't fit who I am now, right? Like my style has changed because I'm a different person. My life is different. What I do is different. All in all, what I'm looking for in my clothing is different, right? I'm looking for quality because I want to wear it for years. I'm looking for a cut because I like this cut. I'm, I'm spitting more on the workhorses, right? And this I have worn once pre-pandemic and then none since then. And it's beautiful, but I've changed to the point where I like, I don't even reach for this because it's just not something that I would typically wear. And it's not, I like loose flowy stuff. Like this is me hanging on when I need to let go. Change is an important part of growth. And it's so funny because I don't mind change in, in many ways, right? Um, I don't mind changing my job. I don't mind changing my space. I don't mind life changing, but there's something about my personal self that I do not want to change, which is so irrational in the grand scheme of things, right? But it's like wanting to control what you can control. I can control myself. I can control my body. And so that is what I want to hang on to. Whereas that should also change with the flow of life. And I've got to stop resisting it, right? I put together that capsule wardrobe so fast because I now know my style. I know what I do and don't want. I stopped buying luxury as fast as I was because I realized I don't want those luxury pieces, right? I'm not buying to sell. <laughs> so a large part of my evolution and getting to this next level, next space in life is going to be me accepting that personally I am changing before i move i want to show you guys look at all of these empty hangers and my boots by the way are behind those clothes on that shelf um that's where i keep them all but look at all those empty hangers like that's insane this is it it's time that's my thread up bag that's my donate bag this is my sell bag i mean sell box of the luxury item. I just, it's time that I embrace this change. Honestly, I know that in therapy, I'm still trying to figure out the reason why I am resisting this change so hard. I must fear something about what's moving, what's happening moving forward. Like that must be it. It's hard for me to dig it out, <laughs> which is probably another video. It actually is another video, um, but I'm working on it. I mean, I know it has to do with control, right? <laughs> Trying to control things uh, because we've been in such an uncontrolled space since the panoramic, right? This felt really good. Like it felt so good. My clothes are now color coded in the closet for sure. The, the things I have that are coming are definitely still things I needed and that will be good for me in my wardrobe overall. So I'm moving forward, ready to discover more about myself and who I want to be and, and who I'm becoming more than anything else. I think I just need to leave myself open to that um, and let go of the control of a lot of things, right? Just move with life. Of course, there are things that I still have to make sure I have a handle on, like my financials, definitely gotta have a handle on that. Moving forward, I really think I have to practice listening to myself um, I have to practice presenting myself in a whole new way. 
a way that I think I'm gonna enjoy, but that I, I really have to embrace and probably step out a bit more uncertain than I have ever in the past. Step out of my comfort zone. Like that's what I think I have to do more than anything else, which is scary, which really, really is a good reason that I have resisted change. Resisting that growth is probably leading to me missing out on something even better a better version of me so yeah moving forward you're just gonna see me trying to figure it out i'm not lost so you ain't gonna see a lot of that <laughs> but probably moving forward you might see me on a journey more than anything else